Welcome back, surf fans. You're watching the Billabong Pro Pipeline. What a way to start the 2022 season. Prime time here on the North Shore of Oahu. And just like that, answering back from an early round loss, Jake Marshall starts us off. Pipe is a tough spot to get some good waves, like especially at this caliber. And right now, they're probably all in heat three. Chris Cote with Ross Williams. Enough about us. Let's talk about these guys in the water. Absolutely sending it over the ledge. Back-to-back -back waves. Jake Marshall starts us off. Federico Marias follows through. Jordan Lawler got an early up and down real quick, just 0.57. But just when you think, hey, it's almost happy hour. Think again. There's still work to do here at Pipeline, Ross. Dude, it's fire. The best wave they've ever got at Pipe and Backdoor in their life in a heat. Um, because this, this crowd when you're free surfing is so tough. So they're learning on the fly, so to speak, right now. And, and what a way to do it, Chris. Love to, love to hear that. Let's talk about the uh, technical abilities here of Federico Moraes. That's a big guy in a wild barrel. Holy moly. Easily the best barrel I've ever seen him get, for sure. I mean, he was perfectly slotted behind. Uh, he was a little out of control, which was very cool. It was fun to watch. He was grabbing his rail. When we were looking into the barrel, you saw his board start sliding over the, the foam ball and he regained control right there. Got a little extension, Chris, through the sandbar section. I mean, beautiful, beautiful barrel ride there for Federico. He is, that's a natural high right there. He is stoked. Um, he's from Portugal near, a, you know, a beautiful point break there in Cocious. Um, so he's got a really gnarly carve on him, but man, he is learning how to surf pipe right now. And right behind him, got the last second call into the comp. An injury replacement, Jordan Lawler there, up and down, or up and out, I should say. A nice ride, not super deep, but still, what a rush. Nonetheless, 25 20 to go. Good drop there, yeah, nice and late there, grabbing the wall with both hands. That's become sort of popular here in the last four or five years, and it's a good tactic, it's a good way to slow down. You need to uh, get behind the curtain if you're going to impress the judges. And uh, he did a good job there, Chris. He could have, you know, got shuffled out into the channel, but he stalled there just a touch. I think the, the one thing that judges are really hanging their hat on today is the depth uh, in that barrel. They want to see you really far back in the barrel, and, and, and Freddie was. You know, at one point, he sort of side-slipped, so the judges liked it. 19.30 to go. I mean, it is, uh, it's been one of these days. Hard not to dip into hyper. Don't take it from me, take it from them. It's waves like this that just keep coming in. I mean, it, it, it's like a factory of just perfect bombs coming into pipe today. Wow, that was deep right there for Jordan Lawler. And this could be another big one. Late drop, super late. That was Jordan Lawler. Just, I mean, going for it. That's a cliche, but he was going for it I on mean, that wave. Chris. He deserves a couple of stripes on the sleeve for that broken board. Uh, just for him to commit to that gnarly drop and pull in. He, I, I'm pretty sure he knew he was too deep and wasn't going to make it. And he just said, whatever, I'm going. Well, I mean, the good news is that he made the drop. So maybe, you know, you get that feeling and you're thinking to yourself, well, you know, I got smashed on the two, but I did make that drop. What the heck? That came out of nowhere. Jake Marshall just launching out of a backdoor tube. 14 to go, back at it. Jake Marshall grabs the rail, lets it go. I mean, that right there, that's a, a combo you don't hear about that much, except for here at Pipeline. Equally as wide, too. It's just like a giant living room water form chasing you. So it is just monster caves out here. These barrels are so square, and that's what makes this wave dangerous. This wave throws to the beach. and. You gotta be proud, Chris. The Grom from, from your local town is kind of lighting it up right now a little bit. You know, uh, pretty cool to see Jake Marshall, uh, Federico Marias after his first wave has to straighten out. So there, you, that's a good example right there. He's six, six one, six two. Guys that do that no hand backside tube right, but then you look at Sean Thompson doing it in the 70s. Right. Here we go, Federico Marias. Eaton. So close right there, it, just at the end. It's so wild how that, that wave dissipates so much into the channel. And your eyesight, can you see anything? No, it looks, I mean, it's a, there's a bit of um, oh, Jake Marshall taking off a nice one, super deep. Just didn't make it out of that. So, 
Yeah, it's, it seems pretty okay. There's a bit of texture on the water uh, up towards Haleiwa, but it's super glassy here right now. It, it seems like that wind keeps picking up and, and sort of swirling a little bit. So he's grinding it out right now with a 5-5 and a 6-1-7, two solid scores to give him a slight edge over Federico Moraes right now, but Federico only needs a 3-1-7. We'll see what this wave has for him. Goes back door, it's a grower. Just a quick tube right there. Looked almost as he stood up, maybe he just got a little bit too stretched out. It's gonna be a cool photo, but maybe not a huge score. I mean, he, he, I'm sure he did not predict it. He knew he was next in line, so you'd have to anticipate a little bit, but Chris, take a look at this wave, perfect one. Well, this is what uh, the call calls for. Jordan Lawler, wow. late drop, beautiful bottom turn, another poster moment for this young Australian. Well, he's looking for a 758. That's going to be very close. That was a monster too. But let's talk about this wave, Ross. Look Whoa. at that drop. Late drop. You can see he got extended there and just hung on by his toes. Long, not a very long barrel, so that's not good for him in terms of the score. But let's see how deep he gets. This is a good angle right here. We're going to look right inside the barrel. Watch his surfboard. If he touches the foam ball, that's an indication of him getting really deep, and he stayed ahead of it the whole time. So it's possible the judges will uh, will go underneath that score he needs, the 7.5. How much does the drop count towards the score? It counts, it shows commitment. If you get airborne, that shows you're late, you're steep. Uh, but really, all day today, they've been consistently rewarding surfers that are super deep and behind the curtain. Uh, and that one was, you could see him the whole time. So I'm guessing he's gonna go under his score. And uh, there is a, I think of the name Cyan Miloski, steep and deep. Yeah. That wave, very steep, as the judges want to see to throw out those big numbers. But we're going to leave it up to them. Meanwhile, Jordy, back at it. That was kind of what we were asking for earlier. Just a nice finish. It yeah, doesn't carved. waste time to do a big carve. Well, that's pretty smart because Jordan knows he's he, his best score right now, currently, before the, the, sco the score is still being deliberated by the judges is a 2.3. So, you know, he could get two waves right now. This is the little one right here. Nice and deep, small wave. All right, this one comes through, 2.6. That knocks Frederico down to third. Now, Freddie needs a 177. Jake Marshall grabs the rail, pops out, quick ride, nicely done. And the score comes through, Jordan Lawler gets it, a 7.67. That means Frederico Moraes just needs a 150. We'll see if he got the note before he dropped into that wave. That looked like a 150. Wow. So I was wrong. I thought the judges were going to go under the 7.5 and they gave it to him. So they loved the airborne drop. Uh, but you're right. Freddie might have just switched it right back. So a little seesaw battle here. Oh, man. This is. Uh... This All is right. where the judges earn it right there. So a quickie. He's only getting rid of a 1.4. So in my eyes, that's definitely better. It was a short barrel. The drop was sort of easy. So commitment wise, the judges aren't too freaked out. You know, they're, they're just like, okay, but he did get barreled there for a second. I don't think so. It seems like a two point rider better, but let's see. I've been wrong a lot today. I mean, that, regardless of how this shakes out, that smile will not leave his face. Wow, there it is. All right, it's official. Frederico Moraes with the last second, 2.63 gets through, but give it up to the chief lot troll from Encinitas, California, Jake Marshall, fighting back from a horrific first round.